So adding some functionality on your own with blueprints towards any kind of template you're using. So I did this one. So for instance, I press play, press start from the product viewer template. I press F12, so function key 12. And this small menu pops up. With this menu, I can change the color of the car. That's basically what it does. So how did I do this? I did it by going to this new Unreal Engine Unlearning uh, pages, which holds a lot and a lot of um, video tutorials already. And one of these tutorials is uh, based on blueprints. So there's a lot of them on blueprints, but I used specifically this one. If you go to architectural, for instance, it has different entries, this one. So the interactive material swaps using blueprints. So you can see it kind of looks the same with the pop-up menu and uh, it gives you all these six small tutorials. They're not that long as you can see, five, seven minutes and whatever. And in the end you will have this kind of menu. So you can do it on your own by just following this uh, example. Now if you follow this example you will have this one. So you can change the colors, you can do whatever you want to, but I added another functionality to this. If I press the letter P on my keyboard, a high resolution screenshot is made. And here it is. As you can see, this is now a screen grab of what I did on a high resolution. How does it work? Let me show you. Let me stop it. It is really simple because what it does, it's opening a level blueprint because that's what I created. And it holds just two notes for blueprints. One is press the letter P, as it says here, and then do the following and execute a console command. And the console command is high res shot 2. Now what's high res shot 2? It's basically this high resolution screenshot multiplier on 2. That's basically what it does. So in this case, this one is going to be executed based on the letter P. And all I had to do was add it in the level blueprint. So I created a level blueprint, an empty one, added this one and added this. It's that simple. Um, the other thing I did, I wanted to make this part of the bike rotate. So just to show people what the functionality is for this one and what it can do. So basically this part is doing this. That's all it does. Now let me show you how I did that. So if I press play and start it. So if I'm close enough here, there's a trigger box around here. If I press the zero, it turns one cycle. So zero turns a cycle. So what I did in short is I went on YouTube and followed the tutorial and it tells you to create a blueprint of this part of the geometry. You need to create your small animation for that part of the uh, geometry and you need to add the um, logic behind it. So if the trigger box is overlapped or not, you need to do something and once it's done and I press O, yes, no, play the animation, stop the animation and so on. So that's basically what it's all about. And it's not that complicated. It is, once you get your head around it, it's not really complicated. Not even if you're a non-programmer like me. So you can add simple or more complex functionality based on these kind of blueprints. So again, this is what I did for this one. Trigger box, press zero, execute the rotation. And this is what I did with this one. Play, start it, function key 12, make it black or yellow, find a nice position. And something like this. Yeah, why not? Press letter P and create a high resolution screenshot. And that was all I did. So I urge you and advise you to dive into these blueprint things just to get your head around it. And if you are not comfortable with programming, don't worry about it, it's visual. It makes kind of sense if you get your head around it, but it's worthwhile getting your head around it. And 
Unreal Epic made a lot of effort or put a lot of effort inside all of these um, video tutorials so you can follow it on your own and of course there's also always there is YouTube just to get you up and running even with more tutorials and stuff that has been done already for you. So do it and you're gonna have fun and you're gonna add some value to 